on the slide number 17 or 18, let's understand digital uh, strategy. So, what is a digital strategy? A digital strategy is to um, plan to accomplish something with the benefits of digital tools. So it's all about how you leverage the computing power of these uh, devices. Okay and build a strategy around that. So it's, it's basically like a layer of uh, which, which involves all media that allows users to self-select or uh, maybe self-service their own experiences and enables marketers the ability to bridge media, gain feedback and uh, iterate their messages, collect relationships. And today, thanks to mobile and other connected devices, uh, which have like uh, really made all media uh, digital, and all experiences can be digital, digital too. And uh, at the same time, uh, like to discuss about there are four stages of uh, digital strategy. It starts with um, analysis. And the second one is like formalization, realization, and the final one is the evaluation, that is assessment. Okay. Let us uh, briefly discuss about uh, these four stages of digital strategy. There is analysis, wherein you define the objective and the expected returns on investment because your analysis, uh, if this goes wrong, then your entire uh, business or the success of business will be at risk and this is where your whole investment can become null and void. You need to study the market demand and brand positioning accordingly because today's market is volatile and unpredictable. So having a better understanding of uh, market situation will help you position your brand and retain its image uh, accordingly. Identify your audience and speak their language because knowing your audience is uh, very key and if you are unable to speak their language then, uh, then it stands a high chance of losing them to your competitors. And understand the evaluation in the digital space because this, uh, the digital revolution is at its great pace and one needs to keep equal momentum in order to align with its twist and turns. Moving on to next slide, which is uh, formalization, uh, under which you create, uh, define all the key results areas and estimate your expected returns, which means this makes you have a proper focus on what you are defining and your estimations for expected returns will be done with respect to the KRAs uh, defined. Prepare a detailed roadmap uh, based on organization timelines because achieving something within a well-defined timeline decides the success or failure of every business and thus formalizing a proper roadmap is must. Uh, design and build which is a very critical phase of uh, formalization as uh, you have analyzed in the earlier stage will have to be designed and built accordingly in order to see light of the day and plan your uh, realization routes okay because communication flows and risk mitigations are some of the things which you need to take care as these goes as the input to your next stage which is uh, realization under this you define the engagement timeline while uh, you are working with different business partners vendors it is important uh, to define a proper uh, engagement timeline so as to work in sync with each other. Involve your audience uh, throughout uh, because it's very important to avoid any surprises as what you might have discussed at the beginning may differ during realization if there is any gap in understanding. 
have a proper governance model and then keep uh, reviewing it because this is uh, will help uh, because what was planned and what is actually getting executed um, so that you can bring in timely improvisation if something has gone wrong and uh, keep recording um, your uh, relevant information through each uh, step for assessment whether it is uh, structured or unstructured data let everything go as evidence for uh, the evaluation stage the last stage is the assessment wherein you actually do the evaluation okay wherein you calculate the kras okay and the financial uh, accomplishments okay because it is very evident to have a proper exercise on calculating the return on, on investments done so that what you have aspired for it uh, comes comes as a life okay because this is the objective that you had started with um, reduce the engagement and uh, derive benefits so, and then if possible derive a tangible benefit because this is where you can actually uh, do a proper assessment learn from your mistakes okay and then define best practices because uh, lessons learned on board uh, that can allow you to avoid repeating the same mistakes again and again and it can go as a knowledge repository for others to refer and score your strategy because this is what you have started with and you need to give appropriate scoring and also derive the key highlights which can be really uh, be the limelight of uh, your business uh, success okay so this this are this is something about digital strategy and these are the four stages of uh, digital strategy moving on to my next slide so why social business going digital because this is all uh, that i started